Namaskar, welcome back to another video of Indian student in Canada series. In this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, a, a big challenge that I faced, which is my work permit expired. Finally, I thought life was going so good because my wife came to Canada on spouse work permit and after a few months struggling trying to find jobs here and there finally um, i convinced my boss to give her a job as a software uh, testing engineer in our company so it was good both of us working for in the same company we were going in the same car and you know, um, living together life is really good um, we were paying off our debts because now she has some additional financial support for me and because I had a huge debt. So I was so happy that things were going really well. And at that time, that's when I started to look for a house. But, you know, God always tests you. So that's the same thing happened. Um, now, um, at that point, the only option to get PR was through Express Entry. Uh, when I actually started working, the old rule was if you work for one year, uh, you apply for PR and you get your uh, permanent residency within eight months. But uh, after I you know, started working within six months, the rules changed and they came up with a new rule, which is express entry. That is currently the same process where they give you points for every details. So based on your merits, like it's like a <laughs> it's like an exam. Um, they give you points for education they give you points for work experience and all those things so and also like especially they give you points for English IELTS exam um, so for some reason my, my, my PR got extended like I couldn't get I am um, my PR was not picked up in Express Entry and my work permit was about to expire it's it's only like two months away from expiry so this is when like I started to get nervous so badly like what do I do because now I'm working full-time and my wife is working with me um, if I have to continue to stay in Canada either I have to get PR um, uh, for that I need to you know my profile has to be picked up from Express Entry or second option I have to go to college or my wife have to go to college one of us um, the third option is if my company can sponsor me to extend my work permit so at this time now currently they don't have uh, before we used to have a, like a closed work permit where company can just apply and within like six months uh, six months or three months something they'll extend your work permit based on because you have an employer who is willing to um, continue to keep you at work so we tried that through LMIA process where you know a company can sponsor you through LMIA but the company has to go through so much and after we started the process like we started to pay some money for a lawyer like probably thousand dollars or something then like our company decided to not to give because the lawyer was asking so much financial details like and our company was not happy about it so that option ruled out and uh, the second option was study or go back to India and and come back once um, once the PR is picked up for me that was not an option because I was going through financial challenges like if I go now like I'm screwed up so the second option was education um, either I go to school or my wife go to school but with the school the problem is the fees are freaking expensive per semester 7,000 uh, per each semester and I know maybe I might get my PR in next like three months or six months so I don't have to go to school for two three semesters um, but if I go to a normal college I have to you know first stop working second pay a lot of fees so I thought you know what maybe because my my job was a higher pay scale and I was working full-time and my wife was like still getting some part-time hours um, in the same company and her salary was low so I convinced her to go to college 
but even that college i looked around there are many colleges that who qualify for if you apply for study permit they, um, they'll give you study permit for eight months or one year um, but only few colleges in canada who are actually allow you to pay monthly so this if you if you join a normal college you have to pay first year first semester and second semester fees um, but very few colleges this one my wife um, we found out about trios college t-r-i-o-s in windsor and they had a very flexible hours for for courses so we picked the course that actually was flexible with where she can go to college and also come and work in the um, office and the fees was only like we have to pay like per month which is like thousand or twelve hundred dollars per month so that was like a perfect option for us because i know we might be able to get our pr and i'll talk about my pr process in the next video um i know we will be able to get our pr in the next few months and i don't want her to lose the job and i don't want to lose my job because i want to continue to work so this trials college finally we found a course and we applied for a study permit it all happened in like one one and a half month i'm like you can imagine my situation like because you know so much pressure um if things doesn't happen the way they supposed to i just have to leave the country so we got the apply a study permit we applied for a study permit and we got the permit study permit for her and then literally after we got the study permit we're like literally a day or two days before we applied for my work permit so this all happened like in literally that short time so but thank god mm, generally in canada like even once your work permit expire they allow you, if the application is in process so this all was online process so my uh, work permit application was on the process so thank god even they extended my work permit once she got the study visa for one year course and they extended my work permit because now i became a dependent of my wife so like thank god it worked out and i got work permit expanded extended and she was studying in the morning thanks to my wife she was like so patient and she was studying in the morning and afternoon she was coming to work she was so she still managed to uh do the work so literally her work was paying for the college and i'm working full time which paying our debt so yeah that's you gotta do whatever it takes to um you know i think every one of us especially immigrants who come to these countries will go through certain challenges but one thing i learned you gotta ask you gotta find out what's the better solution don't give up that's exactly what i did me and my wife we were going through this crazy challenges we didn't give up we asked we asked i called like i remember like i called many lawyers i called many of my friends hey this is the shit shitty situation i mean what would you recommend like you know that's how i was able to find the college how i got my pr that's another nightmare so that's that's why always ask and be open minded to listen and also do your search go on cra website you will see different things spend time don't give up on your dreams that easily that's my message from my story hope you enjoyed this hope you learned something you know um if you like it leave a comment below i really appreciate if you can hit that thumbs up button and also share with someone who is going through or if you think this video will be helpful for them and with that see you in the next video have a wonderful day